In case you forgot, Donovan Mitchell missed the last 16 games of the regular season. The Jazz won 10 in his absence. Would the Jazz beat John Morant and the Grizzlies in game one with him? Probably. But what Spider should really be mad about is they should have won the game without him. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to The Sports Geek. I'm your host, Jackie Ray. Do me a favor, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, and then head on over to thesportsgeek.com for the latest in sports news and betting tips. Now, first of all, let me just say, Jazz fans, please get it together. There is no need to hit the panic button just yet. There are seven games in a series. Second, you have to understand that one of the toughest jobs for a coach is protecting a player from themselves and erring on the side of caution. Donovan just returned to practice on Thursday and was not listed on the official injury report. So a lot of us, including myself, felt that he would play in Sunday's game. But he was officially declared out Sunday afternoon. Jazz head coach Quinn Snyder said the medical team made the decision to hold Spider's return after the Sunday morning shoot-around which is enough for me. The last thing you want is to be in a position where your team's leading scorer can't be fully healthy for a late push because you rushed him back a few days too soon. And when you have the league's 2021 sixth man in Jordan Clarkson and what should be the three-time defensive player of the year in Rudy Gobert, you would have to think that the team with the best regular season record in the league could hold off a playoff with a newcomer like John Moran and company. And the truth is they should have. Bogdanovich had 29 points, which is great, but the first quarter, goose egg. Second quarter, the same. Third quarter, 9 points. Fourth quarter, 20 points. Sir, while I appreciate your second half effort, the tie needed to turn a little sooner. When the star player is out, your team needs you to repeat that early May game where you scored 48 points against Denver, or in this case, just 33, because you only lost by four, and you'd be leading the series 1-0. And Rudy... You're not off the hook either. When you got into foul trouble, you have to defend smart. Donovan Mitchell had a long conversation with Rudy Gobert on the sidelines after he was fouled out, and I am sure he expressed his frustration. But a picture is worth a thousand words, and this tweet from ESPN's Brian Windhorst says it all. Donovan apologized to Jazz fans on his Twitter account as well, saying, Sorry, y'all. I wish I could say more. I'll be out there soon. The good news is Donovan is expected to play game two, and Bovada has the Jazz listed as an eight-and-a-half-point favorite. Now, keep in mind, before Sunday's game, Spider said he was ready to go and he was ready to play. Hopefully, whatever the medical team saw in Sunday's shoot-around does not force them to err on the side of caution again. But even if he doesn't play, guys, watch the tape, step up, and get it done. As much as I love what John Morant is doing with Dylan Brooks and Jonas Valanciunas, Jazz should win the game with or without Spider. But let me know how you think game two will go. Then, for more NBA and sports betting tips, make sure you head on over to thesportsgeek.com. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray. Thanks for watching The Sports Geek, and we'll see you next time.